Geistoff was the impossible. A hitherto undiscovered resource with near limitless potential. Following the Great War, the military scientist Alastair Sterling assembled a team of brilliant minds to unlock its secrets. His friend, Dr. Hans Kammler, theorized that Geiststoff could generate unlimited clean energy. And thus, heal a wounded Europe. But this project was a catastrophe. There could be no question, Geiststoff was far too dangerous. A broken squad disbanded, having all grimly agreed that the world could never know about Geiststoff. All, save one. Obsessed and resentful, Kamla found a new patron, one all too willing to exploit Geiststoff, to create the weapon to end all weapons. And so, Kamla assembled his own team to tap Geiststoff's nightmarish power. But he was unaware that one of them was Alastair Sterling's daughter. Working with her restive brother to bring down Kamla's wonder weapon program from the inside. Bloody hell. You're not at your station, are you? No, I'm at the- Your orders were to sit on your house and decode your sister's message. I thought they were simple enough. Oh, we haven't heard anything from Izzy in days. This is not a game, sir. You either follow my command or you Sorry, Dad, you're breaking up. <sighs> now, what have you gotten yourself into, Isabella? And how am I going to get past all these bloody guards? Did you need something? What were you saying? <laughs> I'll just use my trusty knife to carve out a path to Kamna's castle. Let's repeat that for every Nazi on my way to the cable car station. This is a stealth mission, son. I guess I better keep out of view. You're not gonna look the other way, are you? Good thing I have a flash bomb on me.
<sighs> Warm up over. I have to be extra careful now. I'll give the hitchhike gizmo a whirl and let the crowd take me where I want to go. I'm up for anything. I have no idea how that junk works, but it works. Moving on. <laughs> Time to say goodbye. Das war eben so. See you later. So, schau. Du entwischst dich. Okay, go on then. Right. 
I have no idea how that junk works, but it works. I'm out of your hair. Make this harder than it needs to be. Almost there. The cable car station is right behind that bridge. Risk it with the handgun. Yeah, as long as the crowd I shoot dead is the only one to hear it, I think I'll be fine. Want anyone spotting that corpse and raising an alarm? There's a lot of them in there. I've got to keep track of everyone. Get rid of the guards and slip into the cable car. Easy peasy. Oh, 
Consider it done. It's all in for a change. I'm out of here. Ticket to Camden's Castle, please. I'm good. Oh. 
easy distracted, aren't you, mate? Izzy, thanks, but I really didn't need the assist. And neither do I. Did Dad send you to check up on me, or was it your own bad idea? <sighs> Come on. You know he'd never change one of his plans for our benefit. Nothing from you in a while. I was worried. And now I have to worry about you blowing my cover. Well, since you're already here, you might as well help me out. First things first, we have to get inside the castle walls. On my way here, I crawled through a shaft and a wall. I don't think it's wide enough for you. Are you calling me fat? <laughs> I'll just climb the vines and meet you on the other side. I'm afraid the inner walls won't be as easy to get through. The gates can only be opened from within. So, we'll have to take the scenic route. Lovely. A guided tour of the Nazi castle. Oh, I know a landmark you'll enjoy in particular. The ammunition depot. That does sound like a worthwhile detour. Definitely. We'll need all the help we can get to reach our next stop. Kamla's study is constantly under guard. So far, I haven't figured out the goal of his Geiststoff experiments. But I know the answers are in that room. And in the inner courtyard. I've got glimpses of a strange machine he's been working on. But only from afar. I have no idea what it does. We'll find out. This is our chance to show Dad what we can really do, together. Fine. Together. <laughs>